Republicans and Democrats failed to work together to keep the government running. The federal government officially shut down at midnight. President Trump tweeting this morning that this is the one year anniversary of my presidency and the Democrats wanted to give me a nice present. Today, both Democrats and Republicans continue to play the blame game. The blame should crash entirely on President Trump's shoulders. This will be called the Trump shutdown. What we've just witnessed on the floor was a cynical decision by Senate Democrats to shove aside millions of Americans for the sake of irresponsible political games. The Senate is expected to work through the weekend in an effort to get something done. Meanwhile, it could cost the U.S. economy $38 million every hour. And we've been getting reaction from lawmakers in our area. Kentucky Congressman John Yarmuth says GOP confusion caused it all. The Louisville Democrat writes, quote, this GOP dysfunction has prevented Congress from enacting a full year budget deal, disaster relief, resources to address the opioid epidemic, full funding for children's health insurance and community health centers, protections for dreamers and other top priorities for American families. And on the other side of the aisle, Republican Congressman Andy Barr, who represents Frankfort and Lexington, Kentucky, responded to the shutdown on Twitter, saying last night Senate Democrats made the choice to strip funding from the Children's Health Insurance Program and deny our troops the support they deserve through the Schumer shutdown. He says this is a reckless, irresponsible and wrong.